What's going on guys? So today I want to talk about two things. Um, I tried to talk about it in yesterday's video, but I kept having issues with my camera. Um, it was just like at its wits end between memory and my battery. And sometimes I just forget to charge it or clear out my memory cards. And I was really frustrated, but I really, really want to talk about two things. Um, the first thing is um, how to design um, specifically for t-shirts instead of um, I, I spoke briefly about it, but I really want to get into detail because I have a lot of, I don't know, a lot of, in, or not a lot, but I have like insight on um, just some some general knowledge. And I think it's uh, valuable maybe to you and maybe you want to start a clothing company or a clothing brand, whatever you want to do or design, or it's something I like. So uh, yeah, dog, you know what I'm saying? Monica's on her way home and I'm going to get changed and then uh, hopefully we're going to the we're going to the container store because of a surprise down the road um you'll eventually see why we're going there but i'm excited i'm super super like next future's cool i'm pretty excited i got some cool ideas um that should just uh, streamline everything in regards to this channel design and inspiration hey Hey. Did you eat your lunch today? Or did you go out to lunch? Not even my lunch today. And, and how yeah. did Lena, it how was gymnastics? That was wonderful. Lab was impressed. Good Lena, what are you putting that there for? Put it on the chair, please. That you packed? I missed the vlog, Pam. Oh, what's going on with you? You feeling that? You feeling that outfit? Where's your bird? <laughs> I offer my sacrifice. Again, <laughs> okay. No. No. Nope. Nope. One more time. No, again. Again what? Again, Rockets. Again what? Rockets. I'm gonna put you in a slam, Lena. <laughs> Daddy. Matching sweatpants. I can make it. Look at her. She's trying to be a cool girl. Why do you look so fancy right now? Mm. You ready? Why can't I be this cool? Yeah, I can't. I'm cool? Thanks. Thanks. Guys, I'm cool. Nina said it. You might not be cool, but you hot, mom. To the star. Yep. To the star. Yep. Star. Yep. Star. Yep. star. Yep. Like controller. Controller. You like it when I get aggressive. Tell you. Oh, baby. They get me my selfies on. Here, Ryan. She wants to wear these. What do you think they? What do you think they sell here? All organizational stuff. Or all organizational? Think they'll have any? Uh, boom! The container store. Bow, bow, bow. Or, Lena, what do you think that? What do you think we'll find in here? We're here. Long time ago. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at these. They just sit on top of each other. Perfect. Any colors, so. <laughs> Build your own closet. Why do you tell your mom? It's only $2,000. Well, we'll grab two of them. I'm just kidding. We're sober girls around me. They be acting like they. Is this your favorite story, Lena? This might be my favorite store on some real, real, realness. Here, take over to me, okay? Right. Oh, Fierce. baby. Oh, oh, okay. Switching the pose Fierce. already? Okay. VIP, coming live from the VIP. Okay, alright. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Go. Oh, watch that. <laughs> so we weren't successful. I 
Well, actually, we were successful. I just wanted to go there to get ideas and uh, for some new stuff in the future. I'm so excited. I have some cool ideas. I think most of the stuff that we saw, I'm actually just gonna make out of like wood because I got a lot of spare wood in my garage that I can make a lot of the stuff. So yeah. Yeah, dog. Possible. Can we just talk yeah. about the what happened in Ryan's video today? I was sitting down, you know, feeding Lena her chicken. Have his video playing on my phone in the background and I start hearing these sweet kind words about how he just couldn't live without this one thing. Excuse me, and I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Like first, <laughs> first the YouTube video, then the picture on Instagram. And I'm like, another video about me? Wow, what is he, like, what does he want? Like he's been sucking up lately. So I rewind the video and then realize he's talking about his car. <laughs> like Care Bears over My Little Pony? <laughs> Wrong one. Sometimes I wish I could turn back time. Impossible as it may seem, but I wish I could so bad, baby. Oh. Quit playing games with my heart. Finally, we are talking about what I wanted to talk about yesterday. So, uh, yesterday I wanted to explain to you the difference when coming up with a design. Uh, I have a lot, of, I do a couple of designs for other people, other brands, other stuff, um, not for my own stuff. So, um, when I'm working with anyone, I always try to get an understanding on what their needs are. And when you're designing pieces for clothing specifically or kind of stickers you have to work in single color two, two color three color and it goes up to five sometimes um, so just to give you an example that is single color as you can see that it's only black there's only black printing so if it was on a white shirt only the black and the white would fill out the rest dual color you have your um, pretty much most most of the time it is your shadow or your darks and your highlight and say the shirt was going to be like red you would see the gray slash black and the white highlights and this is and I use these examples just as um, references like they're they're far from done like I just quickly did those they're, they're nothing special but and a example of tricolor would give you your highlights darks and mid-tones as you can see right here white gray hold on white gray and black or darker gray um, I, I did these real rough so pieces are missing I just wanted to give you guys a general overview and um, just a lesson so like if you're ever getting stuff made and you don't aren't sure with what's it able or it's capable you always want to check with your printer and see how many colors they can print to there's also a different method of um, half sh half tone is what they call it where it's pretty much like pixelated dots and to build up one color it's actually more dots in the area my dream of build it shirts half tone a white image on a black shirt they do tricolor or I'm sorry they do half tone to be able to get that gray effect without having the image being um, kind of like an animation so that's how they achieve like pictures and then sometimes like if you ever look at like a t-shirt with a cat on it it's most likely half tone um, print to be able to achieve all those colors and all the tones so they'll take like some printers can print more but say like they tend take a 10 color print and then they'll um, break it down with half tones replicating every shade for to make up the cat just an example but it's like our job as like designers to understand what's able what's able to or what's capable to be done when you have a client or even if it's for yourself understanding what you can do when it comes to designs and what's actually because a lot of times you have great ideas but sometimes it literally can't be done at a specific level like we don't have um, what they call um, cut and sew basically where like if you ever see a shirt that's like if you ever see a shirt that has floral in it like they have floral sleeves most of the time those shirts are from blanks and they find floral sleeves and they cut the sh they unsew the 
shirt shirt from the sleeves and then they sew on the sleeves um, or like uh, jackets they'll do it with if they have like floral on top they'll dismantle the jacket and then build floral this is like on a, a mid production basis so like it, you're not baller baller like top top brand but you're not bottom bottom um, most of those companies do that and this is stuff I learned I literally love um, like the apparel business I, I I spend multiple multiple hours trying to understand and learn and because the more you learn the better you become when designing because you'll be able to quickly understand how to get your idea onto something that is able to be printed or has the capability of printing something that in theory I've been struggling with trying to come up with original ideas where they are um, not replicating or not inspired from anyone like they're genuine ideas that um, come from myself so there's a challenge I, I said I want to talk about two things but I'm, I'm I'm not really in the mood like I'm not in the mood to talk about this second thing so I'm gonna talk about um, coming up with original ideas it's 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 hard when you're creating a brand or a clothing company not to replicate others because just to give you an example the supreme square everyone puts their font in a red box um, I made a joke a while ago like if you want to be a successful brand all you got to do is red squares flames and camo and it's just like a joke meaning like red flames supreme um, thrasher was real big this past 2017 so like replicate that font throw flames oh it's a thrasher bite and then camo's in like crazy um, now it's pink which is kind of cool yeah it, and again you have to go with the trends to be able to market your product properly but at the same time you always want to be original so like I do my best to literally put my my best thought and th and try to have self-awareness when it comes to designing if it's a true idea for myself or if it's an idea that I'm like inspired from something else I always check myself if that makes sense one of the reasons why I yikes the backpack a couple uh, videos ago is because like one of the pieces I didn't feel that it was a genuine idea for myself and it's cool to be inspired but like I personally like get frustrated trying to come up with original ideas and um, it's not necessary, it's just like, you know, a writer's block if you want, if you will. So we try to keep going and think of different shapes because uh, I spoke yesterday uh, when I was tattooing, it was different. Um, you had a curvature of the body and tattoos were breaking, broken up in a specific panels depending on how you tattooed and the way you laid them down on the skin. It was a completely different than a shirt. A shirt only is able to do so much. You can't do it. On tattoos, you're able to get all those tones with different color palettes and different methods, dilute, dilution of like black and all that good stuff. So um, with, with it was a hard transition. I'm still um, trying to get better um, getting or understanding what colors to use or which where to put my highlights, where to, what highlight to keep and what highlight to pull out, what's my dark. It's like, you have to think in a weird, you have to think in a different avenue where into tattooing, it was a little bit more flexible. You can achieve different, um, different looks, I guess you could say. But finally, I hope that worked. I did this rant yesterday and like three times and it's not even a rant, it was just like informational. I just wanted to get my thoughts out get you guys understanding on like what it takes to design and I hope that um, I don't know I hope that I, I continue to get better I've been trying my best to like put out like very very unique stuff like I'm um, the most excited new thing is the we don't quit stickers and the backpacks coming soon I just have to finalize it it's something I enjoy so um, let me know if you guys like these the breakdown of design or art or whatever you want to talk about so because I'm trying to my god fly incorporate more into this channel let alone cars and family I want to get back to design and get back to all the good stuff and next month is huge I'm so excited to tell you guys what we're working on so with that I leave you happy Wednesday tomorrow Wednesday Tomorrow's Thursday. Wednesday. happy Thursday guys we love you and nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here
I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to And the last one that you said goodnight to I went home and cried to And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you Glad I got you, that's a blatant fact And every negative thing I said, I swear I'll take it back Right? Yeah. Right?